There we are, three inch inlet in. Now all I gotta make sure is it clears this uh, coolant reservoir, which I think it will, just the way it's designed. And uh, of course I've done this before. Yeah, that's it. I didn't have it as much documented as this. So, a straight 90 probably would have worked better because this, but even if I have to move this out, the way I have it on the turbo is it'll just help push it further on. So, yeah, that's a three inch inlet to the turbo on the front turbo. And then the second one, just going to keep it with the high filter, the stop one, uh, and I'm going to plug one side. I mean, I could do like a high and have it go into both of them at the bottom, but it's so restrictive at the actual right where the turbo meets the pipe. People say, and they claim that it's the pancake, that uh, it's not the pancake. This pancake has plenty of flow. I don't know why everybody says, oh, it's this flat spot. This isn't the res restrictive spot. This is not the restrictive spot. I know it's thin, but this is the restrictive spot. This right here, this orifice right here. See how small it gets right here? This hole, that hole is way less CFM than this flat spot. If you calculate it out, the wall, length inside the whole diameter you're going to be able to hold a lot more cubic CFM in, in that area of the tube and of course this area because this is almost as much flow as this if not more people are saying oh it's the flat side I, I beg to differ this is the restriction on the OEM turbo and lifts it's this point right here and that's it but now I got straight up all the way 1.75 to a three and bam. Now I just need to get the cooling coolant reservoir in. See, see if I could get it to fit because I didn't, I had to cut pipes and stuff. I don't know, I could cut exactly the same length if it fits perfect, but I don't know. I might need to adjust this and move it back a little bit. So TMI. <laughs>